Hi, welcome to my channel Anand Tashasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under the topic application of matrices and determinants. So the problem is find the inverse of the matrix 3, 4, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, 5, minus 2, 6. So what they have given here? They have given a matrix and they are asking us to find the inverse of this matrix. Now for this, you need to use the formula of A inverse formula that is A inverse equal to 1 by determinant of A into adjoint A. So first you need to find the determinant of this matrix of order 3 and then you need to find the adjoint A to get the inverse of this matrix. So as I told you before, first step number 1 we have to write the given matrix. So given, now denote this matrix with letter A. So A equal to, so matrix I am writing here, first row 3, 4, 1, second row elements 0, minus 1, 2, third row elements 5, minus 2, 6. Next step, we will find the determinant of this. So, determinant of A. So, determinant of A is put these two vertical lines and write all these nine elements. So, first row elements 3, 4, 1, second row 0, minus 1, 2, third row 5, minus 2, 6, plus, minus, plus. So, this is equal to 3 into. Now, we have to write the determinant of the values which are not in, since 3 is in first row and first column. You have to form a determinant of the elements which are not in first row and first column. So what are these elements? Minus 1, 2, minus 2, 6. Next is minus 4. Now what is minor of 4? Again, since 4 is in first row and second column, you have to leave the elements of first row and second column elements. So the remaining elements you need to write here. So 0, 2, 5, 6. Then place 1. Again, one, where is 1 is located? 1 is in 1st row, 3rd column. So, you have to leave the elements of 1st row and 3rd column elements. So, remaining elements you have to write here. 0, minus 1, 5, minus 2. So, this is equal to 3 into 2. Now, solve this determinant of order 2 using the formula of AD minus BC. That means you need to multiply the main diagonal elements first. So, minus 1 into 6 is minus 6. So minus will be there and 2 into minus 2 is minus 4. So minus minus plus 4. Minus 4. Here 0 into 6 is 0. Minus 2 5 jar is 10. Then plus 1. Now minus 2 into 0 is 0. Then minus minus 1 into 5 minus 5. So one more minus will be there plus 5. So we we'll get 3 into minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. Minus 4 into minus 10 plus 1 into 5. So this is equal to 3 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 6. Now 4 into 10, 40 minus 2 minus plus 40 plus 5. Now 45 minus 6 that is 39. So determinant of A is you got 39 which is a non-zero value. So not equal to 0. Therefore inverse of this matrix exists. So next thing you need to find cofactors. So cofactors of all the 9 elements. So, cofactor of 3. So, first one is cofactor of 3. Now, where is 3 is located? 3 is in first row and first column. So, i value is 1. So, the formula is minus 1 power i plus j. So, what is i here? i means row position and j means column position. Since 3 is located in first row and first column, so i value is 1, j value is 1. Into minor of 3. That means, you have to form a determinant of the elements which are not in first row and first column. So determinant minus 1, 2, minus 2, 6. So this is equal to minus 1 power 1 plus 1 is 2. Now minus 1 into 6, minus 6. Now minus 2 into 2, minus 4. One more minus will be there, so plus 4. Now minus 1 power 2, since 2 is an even number, so minus 1 power 2 is positive. So plus 1 into minus 6 plus 4, you will get minus 2. Next one is cofactor of. Next element is 4. Now where is 4 is located? 4 is in first row and second column. So this will be minus 1 power i plus j. That means i is 1 plus 2 into minor of 4. That means we have to form a determinant of those elements which are not in first row and second column. So this will be, you will get 0, 2, then 5, 6. So this is equal to minus 1 power 3. Now 0 into 6 is 0, minus 2 into 5 that is 10. So you will get now minus 1 power 3, since 3 is an odd number, so we will get minus 1. So minus 1 into minus 10. So we will get plus 10. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज को फैक्टर ऑफ को फैक्टर ऑफ वन सो वेर इज वन इज लोकेटेड वन इज इन फर्स्ट रो एंड थर्ड कॉलम सो यू गेट माइनस वन पावर आई प्लस जे दैट इज वन प्लस थ्री इन टू माइनर ऑफ दिस नाउ माइनर ऑफ वन दैट मीन्स यू फॉर्म ए डिटर्मेंट ऑफ दोज एलिमेंट्स विच आर नॉट इन फर्स्ट रो एंड थर्ड कॉलम सो दोज एलिमेंट्स आर जीरो देन माइनस वन देन फाइव माइनस टू सो दिस विल माइनस वन पावर फोर नाउ जीरो इंटू माइनस टू इज जीरो नाउ फाइव इंटू माइनस वन इज माइनस फाइव वन मोर माइनस टू दिस प्लस फाइव नाउ माइनस वन पावर फोर फोर इज एन इवन नंबर सो विल गेट प्लस वन सो वन इन टू फाइव सो वन फाइव इज आर इज फाइव सो नेक्स्ट वन इज को फैक्टर ऑफ जीरो को फैक्टर ऑफ जीरो नाउ वेर इज जीरो इज लोकेटेड जीरो इज इन सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम सो आई वैल्यू हियर इज टू सो टू प्लस जे वैल्यू इज वन इन टू माइनर ऑफ जीरो दैट मीन्स इट फॉर्म ए डिटर्मेंट ऑफ दोज एलिमेंट्स विच आर नॉट इन सेकेंड रो एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम सो वॉट आर दोज एलिमेंट्स फोर वन एंड देन माइनस टू सिक्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन पवर थ्री ना फोर सिक्स चार इज ट्वेंटी फोर ना माइनस टू टू वन इज माइनस टू सो यू गेट प्लस टू सो यू गेट माइनस वन पावर थ्री मीन्स दैट इज माइनस वन ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस टू इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो यू गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो नेक्स्ट वन इज को फैक्टर ऑफ माइनस वन सो को फैक्टर ऑफ माइनस वन Now what is cofactor of minus one? Where is minus one is located? Minus one is in second row and second column. So i value is two and j value is also two. So two plus two into minus of minus one. That means you have to form a determinant of those elements which are not in second row and second column. So this will be three, one, five, six. So you get minus one power four. Now three six four is eighteen minus five. So you get minus one power four. Four is an even number. So you get plus one. Into eighteen minus five is thirty, so we get thirty. So this will be next one is cofactor of two. So cofactor of two. Now where is two is located? Two is in second row and third column. So I value is minus one power two plus three into minor of two. That means we will form a determinant of those elements which are not in second row and third column. So we get three four and then five minus two. So we get minus one power. Five into three minus two is minus six. Then here minus twenty. So we get minus one power five means five is odd number. So we get minus one into minus six minus twenty is minus twenty six. So we get plus twenty six. So next one is cofactor of five. So cofactor of five. Now where is five is located? Five is in third row and first column. So I value is so minus one power three plus one. Into minor of five. That means we have to form a determinant of those elements which are not in third row and first column. So what are those elements? We we'll get four one, and then minus one two. So this will be minus one power four into four two jar is eight. Now minus one to minus one plus one. One more minus will be there. So we we'll get minus one power four is four is even number. So one into eight plus one is nine. So we we'll get nine. Next one is cofactor of minus two. So cofactor of Minus two. Where is minus two is located? Minus two is in third row and second column. So minus one power three plus two into minor of minus two. So we we'll get we we'll form a determinant of those elements which are not in third row and second column. So we we'll get three one and then so third row and second column means three one zero two. So this will be minus one power five three two zero six minus zero. So we we'll get minus one power five is an odd number. So we we'll get minus one. So that is minus one into six. So we we'll get minus six. So next one is cofactor of six. So cofactor of six. So cofactor of six. Where is six is located? Six is located in third row and third column. So we we'll get minus one power i plus j. That is three plus three into minor of this six. That means we have to form a determinant of those elements which are not in third row and third column. So we we'll get three four and then zero minus one. So we get minus one power six. Now three into minus one is minus three into minus zero. Four into zero is zero. So we get minus one power six is. Now six is even number. So we get plus one into three minus minus three. So we get minus three. So now you are going to form a cofactor matrix. So cofactor matrix is cofactor matrix equal to that is. Now form a cofactor matrix. That is you have to form the all the elements. So cofactor of three is minus two. Then cofactor of four is ten. Then cofactor of one is five. Then cofactor of zero is minus twenty six. 
then cofactor of minus 1 is 13 then cofactor of 2 is 26 then cofactor of 5 is 9 then cofactor of minus 2 is minus 6 then cofactor of 2 is minus 3 so this is the cofactor minus next we need to find the adjoint so what is adjoint that is transpose this that means you have to change rows into column and column into rows so we will change the one way that is we will change row into column so first row into first column so we will put this minus 2 10 5 then 10 13 so what we, what you are doing next one we are changing second row into second column so minus 26 then 13 26 then third row into third column so we will get 9 minus 6 minus 3 now we need to find the inverse for this you need to use the inverse formula that is a inverse equal to 1 by determinant of a into adjoint a so you get a inverse equal to now 1 by determinant of a what is determinant of a value you got 39 so 1 by 39 into adjoint a so put this matrix here so minus 2 minus 26 9 10 13 minus 6 5 26 minus 3 so this is how we find the inverse of this matrix now if you want to solve more problems of this kind, I have given you a link in the description, please click on that link. And this video is mostly useful for Polytechnic and Engineering students. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel, Yanam Dakshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.